come to me. Sorry. Just walking around. Hi, everybody. So apparently we're going to get my picture taken at a uh, tent type picture. I don't really know much about it. I'm a little worried because I don't like taking pictures. I like taking pictures. I don't like getting pictures taken. Uh, so we'll see how it turns out. Plus, I feel like total garbage and uh, not in a good way. I'm looking, I think I'm looking for Mike, right? Mike? Hey, Hi. How are you? Good. Is there a Mike here? A Mike? No? Mike? He's the, I think he's the picture, he takes pictures. Oh, Michael, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on break. He's on break. Is there a mic here? I don't think so. Michael. Oh, really? Michael? Okay, that's, okay, yeah, now. sorry. Uh, he's on his break. Yes. Do you know when he's going to come back? He's due back, what, seven? Yeah, next is five, ten minutes. Well, we were lied to. We were lied to. All right, thank you. Cool. So, Michael, Michael is who I'm asking for. Yes. All right, got it. Thank you. Seriously, they couldn't like get Michael from Mike? That was hilarious. Man, look at all these people. Why are you so tired? No. Come on, this is a lot of cool stuff to look at. Yeah, we were traveling today. We came from California. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Did y'all drive all the way straight here? No, we flew in. Okay. For MotoGP or for the handball yeah, show? Yeah, MotoGP. Did you see some races or did you get here just in time? We're going to go tomorrow. To the finals. Awesome. What do you think of the show? It's great. We didn't get here. We got here a little bit ago. Are you having a good time or are you tired too? <laughs> Look at you guys. Go to bed. We just got to get a little nap. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm so good. It's good to see you. Yeah, this yeah. is awesome. I know. Well, thank you. But did you see this? <laughs> yeah. Can I talk to you a little bit? Yeah. I'm doing something. Oh, no, not like that. I don't. I know nothing about bikes. You don't have I'm here to. with them. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> what do I have to ask? Who knows? Who okay. knows what I'm going to say? <laughs> All right, so, and I and I hate I hate that I have this, uh -huh. right? Because I feel like it's, it's <laughs> I feel stupid. So I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. Can you hear her? Nice. Um, I'm sorry I'm making you do this. Okay. Don't use it if it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is gonna be very rad, but that, that's okay. not because of you. It's because okay. of me. <laughs> Uh, have you ever been to the handbell show before? No, this is my first time. I just moved to Texas, so first time, and I heard yeah. about it from the minute I moved here. Really? Yeah. Awesome. What do you think? I like it. How long have you been here? Uh, 11 months in Texas and about 20 minutes here. Fuck yeah, you just got here. <laughs> yeah, I literally like, walked in and this, gone up this aisle. That's it. Right on. And this dude. So he literally paints that with his sandwich. <laughs> That's how he does it. No breaks. Get back to work. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell I'm how saying. How fast does he do one? Uh, so he started yesterday, okay. and he'll go on till tomorrow. So he did. Uh, so he painted another one of our bikes last year. Yeah, and it, and it basically went the whole weekend. Oh wow! And now he's doing it. We invite him. We bring him in every year because he's fucking rad. Do you have last year's hung up anywhere? Uh, no, it's at the shop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's got other ones that he did uh, yeah. on, on, over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sorry to make it awkward, but I I saw you and I know you, so I was like, I want to talk to her. Well, man, did it's good to see you. Day? Yeah. Well, we got here Monday. Had to set it all yeah. up, which takes about a week. And you're done tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, yeah. But then we got to tear it all down it's Monday. Yeah, dude, yesterday I was here from 8 in the morning till 1 in the morning. It's brutal. So all these bikes are on loan then in the center? So all these bikes are, uh, we, so this show we invite builders from all over the world and or we, or people submit like, hey, I have a bike, can I put yeah. it in the show? So they all belong to, I mean, these are all like 
the, the work of other builders from all over. And so they bring them here. It's just a show. People show them off. And, uh, some of the guys stand near their bike. Yeah, some do. <laughs> some don't. Uh, that. Yeah, some people, some guys are, or girls, whatever, they don't even, um, they're not even here. Like, they just right. like, you know, just everybody's busy and stuff. So That's awesome. But yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. Uh, we should probably go back because I think the guy's Michael's there. My clan. <laughs> Sorry. What about walk like this? Yeah, if you walk like that, then it's fine. Is there a Michael here? I'm sure he did. Sorry, man. Awesome. I'm Alec. I have an appointment with you, apparently, uh, for a tin type. How are you, man? Good. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's nice to meet you as well. So I work uh, for Revival, and we put on the hand-built show. And we do these things called Revival Dailies, where we always kind of like, you know, film what's going on in the shop or whatever. So we're going to do one with me getting a tin type. Right? Right? All right, let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, follow follow me. I really don't know what it is. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I'm going to do the yeah. survey afterwards because I want some headphones. All right, cool. Um, yeah, this is actually it's one of the earliest photographic processes, and this was invented in 1853. Wow. So uh, that's a time before there was film. Yep. And at that time, if you wanted to take a photograph, you had to prepare the plate yourself and take the photograph and then develop it immediately. Because once the plates are prepared, they only last for 10 or 15 minutes. What happens? They're just, you can't, they're not... They dry out and fog over, and they're not really sensitive to light anymore. But so, not in a uh, cool, artsy way, like it just looks like trash? Yeah, like trash. <laughs> so what that means is you have to have a dark room wherever you're taking pictures. So gotcha. we converted the little bathroom back I here. was wondering what that was. Yeah, we can go back in there and you can see how the plates are. I would love to do that. Before. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, pretty cool. So what's the first thing I need to do besides, I guess, sit down, right? Well, yeah, Sarah, my assistant, she's back there yeah. making a plate right now. She's going to bring it out. Cool. And we're going to take your picture. Awesome. And then we'll go back there and develop it and you can see inside Thanks, the dark man. room. Thanks, man. And how long have you been this? doing this? I've been doing this process for about 12 years. Oh, so you, this is what you, you're good at. It. Well, I've been, been doing it for a while. You're good at it. Yeah. You, it's it's okay to to to, yeah, you know, I to accept. You know Thank what I mean? You. Yeah. It's okay to accept that. I'm sure there are a lot of things you're bad at that you will freely admit, <laughs> and this is not one of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There you go. All right. So this is the thing. This is the camera. Yeah, this is it, and this is actually a modern four x five film camera. You can put sheet film in it. Um, so the uh, I'm using you know modern lighting and everything, uh, and it's strobe, so the exposure is instantaneous. You know, gotcha. back in the 19th century. Yeah, you'd have you, to like yeah, sit there for you, you know four to eight seconds maybe. So that's a long time to be still. So I don't know anything about photography. Um, you said this is a modern one. Now, do you have like an old school one just because it's a part of what you do and it's a nice collect it's good to collect I don't know like do you have like a sort collector's of, I mean, item you know, or something you can certainly go out and find yourself a 150 year old camera but um, you know they're pretty uh, delicate at that yeah. point so I just prefer to use modern cameras because yeah. uh, it's just a good solid workhorse and of course nice. you know a nice modern coat and lens is sharp and contrasty and, awesome man and that's nice and so, so what's that over there no, that's actually a digital camera on a copy stand. So oh. uh, after the plate is made, we copy it digitally so that we have digital files. Oh, of yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, with this process, there's no negative. So there's really only that one copy of the print. Uh, gotcha. So once the plate is prepared in the darkroom, it goes into the camera, and that becomes your finished picture. So it's like a little light painting. So there's only one copy of it. It's amazing. Uh, which is one of the things that I really like about it because you know, they have like sort of value as objects. Yeah, absolutely. Just one of a kind. Yeah. It was sort of like directly struck by light reflecting off of you yeah. when the picture was made. No, yeah, it's great. So, yeah, cool, man. I'm cool. glad that we're doing this. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ta-da. Ooh, ready. gloves. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, uh, I mean, I've just been handling the holders and the silver nitrate uh, 
gets on your skin and it photosensitizes your skin and then you go outside in the sun and it turns black and you uh, can't really wash it off. So, so are you guys typically covered in it? Um, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, uh, and right. so, what's your name? Sorry. Oh, I'm Sarah. Sarah. Hi. And this is your assistant. Or what, yeah, what is we've it? been working together for Partner? a long time. Uh, and uh, she, she lives in uh, Chicago and I'm based out of Portland. So. Oh, okay. But we both used to live in San Francisco, so that's how we started working together. So. Gotcha. Yeah. So how long yeah. you guys known each other? How many friends? Like six, it's been like six years. Years. Six years. Yeah. years. And do you like, when you do stuff like this, do y'all work together still? Like they're like, let's do this together. Yeah, because like I can, like, I can't just hire an assistant somewhere. You're it's absolutely like she not. has to know. So um, I used to have like a, a you know retail uh, portrait studio in yep. San Francisco, and Sarah worked there, so she totally knows how all this works. Cool. So. Sorry if this is awkward. No, it isn't. <laughs> Come on, we can do that. Awesome. Well, what, okay, I'm gonna. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna see you right here, and uh, on the bike. I know what this is. So I know about this. I don't know about that. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't really, like, I'm embarrassed to say I don't actually even ride. So, That's, why is that uh, embarrassing? Like, all of this is, like, super new to me, but I really appreciate, like, fabrication and finely built things. So it's yeah. super fun to just walk around the floor here yeah. and look at all this stuff. Man, honest, don't, there's no, don't be embarrassed about not knowing about motorcycles. Like, it's fun. I, I mean, it would be embarrassing if, like, you know, I don't know. We all have our... You don't know anything about cameras. That'd be kind of embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, it's all good. Like, I mean, everybody can have appreciation for something. I've always liked photography, I guess, but I, like, I know shit about it. Well, and, like, the thing where this ties in really well with this event is it's just about, like, you know, crafting things by hand. Yeah. Things being handmade, hand-built, so... It makes sense. Yeah. Have you had the coffee there? The progressive coffee? Yeah, I think I had, like, four of those today, it's which nice. turns out it's too many. Yeah, dude too strong yeah all right so, i'm gonna put this down and you're gonna do your thing right, right? So, uh, uh i can guarantee you i'm gonna look pretty fucked up so we'll see shirt on or off <laughs> right always off okay good oh um, yeah you want to hold that so we can walk through the process okay is, is that okay yeah sure so we're talking we, about shirts go ahead so always shirtless every got, time. Got it. Um, so we can do it one of two ways. I can either pull back and get like more of the bike, kind of have that context, yeah. or I can like move in and get like a really tight sort of dramatic portrait. Let's do the tight dramatic. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm good with I that. I feel like uh, that'll be good. Should I take my beanie out? I don't know. What you got going on? I, don't know. I just got hair, but I mean like in the spirit of this old school kind of yeah, tin type I, we yeah, got going on. Yeah, like I think having a beanie like, is gonna look. Do it natural. Yeah. All right. Oh, she's, she's gonna, the first thing she's gonna say is, "Oh, I, you haven't cut your hair yet." So this one's for my mom. I, the only reason I've ever cut my hair short in the past is because my mom likes it that way. I'm 42 years old and I still do this every once in a while, just so my mom can go, I like your hair. She still has her influence. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, okay, and then I'll let it grow again. To satisfy the mother. I mean, she had me for crying out loud. It's the least yeah, I can do. Yeah, she did her part. Right? She did her part. Cut your hair. And she always reminds me of 19 hours of labor. She always reminds me. It's a long, it's a long time. And I was a 10 pound baby. It's a big old kid. Yeah. Well, you owe her. Huh? You owe her. Though. I owe her everything. All right. All right. So maybe, like, how about we just have you sitting uh, sideways? Yeah. This is usually how I ride, so this is way more comfortable for me. Okay, yeah. Like, meet up on the handlebars. Yeah. Exactly. I feel uh, more, so, more relaxed. Yeah, we'll get your shoulders kind of turned this way a little bit, or towards me. And then I'll have you looking back towards the camera. Like and, this. But yeah, with my eyes, too. Yeah, yeah. And um, really, like, all I need you to do is kind of hold still, sort of like hold that pose, and I'll get the camera set up and focused. Got it. And then I'm going to let you know before I take the picture. And I don't really like people to, like, intentionally pose or smile yep. for the shot, really. And it's also... Well, it helps with the, dra the, dra the, the dramatic effect. Yeah, and also it's more natural. And I think, you know, with the view camera shooting like this, it's really hard for people to, like, pose. Just be normal. You know, it's like I can't be spontaneous. It's like it takes... Me a while to set up, okay. so yeah. 
Cool, man. So um, I'll get this focused and I'll let you know when I'm ready Thank to take shot. Can you see it? <laughs> I think so. I have a feeling I'm going to look like one of those old Indian photos, like a Native American photo. Ooh. Cool. It's like the movie yeah. Seven, Welcome to but the not as sexy. Well, can can you get? Less sexy than three can you get? Can you? Can you see? Oh yeah, this is good. But you cool. can probably so, hear him a lot better too. No, right? Actually, I'm gonna have to switch. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's probably enough light for you shooting here. I can yeah. see it. Okay, cool. So, um, the plate has been uh, sensitized, and then we took it out there and uh, took a picture. And now the development happens, and it's really fast. And it's usually just about six or eight seconds. And um, I'm not sure if you can see that from here, but I'm just gonna pour this on. this water ready because we'll be able to see the image come up in here and it's going to come up as a negative there you go wow and that's it so now just rinse it a little bit and what is that what is that plate what is that this is actually an aluminum plate mm -hmm. so in the 19th century they would have used steel plates yep um, but other than that, the chemistry that I'm using is exactly the same exactly as it would have been done in 1855. Can you use different material? I mean, Yeah, you can. These were often done on glass, and they usually call it an ambrotype if it's done on glass. And you can use the same process to make a glass plate negative or mm. a positive image on glass. So uh, now that this has been rinsed, it's going to come over here and go into this fixing bath. This is kind of the cool part because here. Oops, sorry, I just activated the, uh, the towel. The towel is uh, It will clear and turn into a positive, and that happens pretty quickly. So far, I'll like Gandalf the Gray. I'm into it. Or the light. I don't but that to me is like the most magical part of wow, it. Wow, it like happened just, just like that. Yeah, watching it go from that negative to reverse into yeah. a positive like that. And what is, I'm sorry, what is that solution, what is in there again? Uh, it's potassium cyanide. Okay. Actually. Oh. So, yeah. That's kind of the more toxic part of the process. But that's a great fixer. We're all going to die anyway, so. And so these plates are black to begin with. And so the, um, the image is made up of pure metallic silver that's just deposited on the plate. So rinse it off a little bit. That's it. And it's pretty dark in here. Wow. They do brighten up when they dry. And there you are. Man, that looks great. That's your 19th century cell. <laughs> awesome. So now it just goes in here and it washes for about 10 minutes and then we bring it out. And these are the, these are other ones that are... Yeah, these are other... Uh, that are finished or about to be... Those that have been here before you. Oh yeah, that one's good. They have a really interesting look to them. Yeah, I know it's, her. Um, it's actually only sensitive to blue, so it really changes the way that skin tones look. Yeah. And um, people just generally get a lot grittier looking. Yeah, I've, I've seen those, and I'm like, man, I'm always worried because I always feel like I look so gritty, anyways. Like, I'm really curious to see what I would look like on one of these. Like, yeah, a little extra gritty. <laughs> extra gritty. Man, that's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure thing. Um, if you want, I can just do the, show you what the first part of the process is. Yeah, I would love to. I would um, love to see that. So I'm making these on. God oh, damn it! Sorry. Super annoying. The towel's left on. Um, so these are um, 
aluminum plates that have a black lacquer coating on one side. Gotcha. And they get coated in, <laughs> in this stuff, which is uh, liquid nitrocellulose. It has a couple different salts mm -hmm. added to it, and it's not light sensitive by itself. It's just lacquer. Right. Basically, it's pretty much the same as like a nitrocellulose lacquer mm -hmm. with a couple of salts added to it. Okay. But you can really kind of smell the ether. What does the salt do? Well, the salts that are in here, it's uh, ammonium iodide and cadmium bromide. And those salts will combine with the uh, silver nitrate in these tanks. And it forms silver iodide and silver bromide. And those are light sensitive salts of gotcha. silver. So what happens is when this plate's put into the camera, the light strikes those light sensitive silver salts and the action of the developer causes it to reduce into metallic silver. So that's how you get the metallic silver home. Wow. And that's what your image is, so. Man, it is definitely a process. It is, and it's, you know, photochemically speaking, it's not actually that much different than what's going on with, you know, modern black and white film, uh -huh. which is also silver based. But it's just kind of fun to be able to mix up everything yourself. Oh yeah, and absolutely. Yourself. So it'll sit in here for about three minutes, and after that, it's sensitive enough to take a picture. Great. And so, and is this what you're talking about? Like this only lasts? Well, so how long can that be in that state before you use it? Yeah, if the plate dries out, uh, you can't take a picture. Yeah. Of it. So 15 minutes. Okay. So. So obviously, you, this is like when somebody's like, I want to do this, and then you begin this process. Yeah, which is why it's like, you know, the darkroom part of it is a necessity. It's Absolutely. Like you can't make the plates up in advance and then take pictures yep. of them like film. You have to kind of make them one at a time as you go. And I love that about them, because it's like they're all handmade. There's only one copy of it. It was in the camera when it was exposed to you. Yeah. And so sort of like imprinted or touched by the light coming it really feels like it has a physical connection to the subject. Yeah, absolutely. And that's just kind of cool, especially, you know, nowadays, you know, I love digital photography, but like photographs aren't even things anymore. It's just like chunks of information yeah. running around. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And it's just, just like nice. money. Yeah. Right? right? All that stuff. It's like, what do yeah. I really even have? Nothing. Yeah. It's all yeah, on my so phone. Nice to just, you know, and also I know that picture's going to be around in 50 years. Whereas yeah, all this absolutely. stuff on my phone is like, no, one of the, I mean, it, and it's also, at the same time, it can be very heartbreaking to have something like that. I mean, and, you know, scary. Like, my mom lost, speaking of my mom again, a bunch of photo albums, right? Oh, yeah. And it's just like, you know, all the whole family was like, well, I shouldn't say she lost them, but she's, she moved, and, you know, who knows, right? Um, but, and yeah, people are, like, now, like, people are devastated, right? You know, because yeah, because those are baby pictures and all this stuff. One of the kind documents. Yeah, so, but it is nice. I mean, you hold on to it for a long time. I mean, you know, there's still pictures of like my great great grandparents, like at my grandma's house and stuff like that. Just just the fact that something is that old too. Like I love stuff like that. So keep it around long yeah. enough, and it's just like one of those old. You no, know, and especially with this kind of the tint type that you do, like no one. Yeah, because like if you're looking at that plate in a hundred years, it's like this plate was in the room with the person. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. not like a print that was made later. It's yeah. like a, you know, first generation image, so. Right on, man. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us the process. Yeah, my pleasure. I thought it was like, we're gonna be something else, and it was great. Yeah, it's like one thing that's fun about it is it's actually really fast. Like if I was in here developing role at oh, home, yeah. you get super bored after a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time, man. I yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, really a pleasure. Yeah. He said it'll be ready about 30 minutes. I can't really wait that long, so I say we kind of pick it up. I guess let's find this dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, it is. Ugh. Can I just take it? Man, I look fucking crazy weird. Is that what I look like? It's awesome, man. No, I know it, it, the the picture is amazing. I think so too. I just think I'm a weird looking dude. <laughs> That's all right. I think that that black and white just had so much depth Dra dramatic. And to person. Dramatic. Yeah. And I think people aren't used to that anymore. That technology just like brings it out of you. 
I look super angry on mine. Like, right? I'm, oh, shit. I'm like, damn, I'm having a good you time. You'll, like, you'll feel better about you. <laughs> oh, I want to see yours. Oh, look at Alan. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, okay. I'm not the only one that looks stupid. Look at this angry mean mug. Man, people are like, Jeez. you look so angry. I'm like... All right, I feel better it's because you just bring this because it up. looks good, but like you look way more like lively. Yeah, and I'm not that angry. I'm, I'm I'm a really happy person, but the picture is like it, it's just it's so unique, you know. Yeah, look, cool look at us. Two pissed off dudes. Yeah, but real life that are having a great day. Super happy guys, you know. <laughs> you awesome. It, yeah, man. Thanks so much, dude. Take care. Tell them thank you again. We will. Let's go put my picture somewhere where no one will ever see it. Have you seen this guy? Before? We're looking for this guy. Um, I heard he's on America's Most Wanted. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it looks fucking crazy weird. I look like a really ugly version of Alan. <laughs> this is I've been. This is my grandpa. I look like I've been chewing on something for way too long. <laughs> Valerie. Yes. Why didn't you race today? I broke my elbow. Which one? This, this one. It don't look broken. Ask it a question. Are you okay? No. <laughs> what, what? How did you break it? I already know this, but this is. This is on camera. No. There's no film in it. Okay. Cool. Well, in that case, I fell off my dirt bike. What were you doing? Were you racing? Uh, I was just trying to be faster than this guy, which will never happen. But I almost caught him, and then I fell off the side of the That's what you get for being competitive. You know, you don't win races going slow. Well, I beg to differ. But... Like turtles do, though. <laughs> like turtles. When, uh, when are you going to be okay again? Um, for the next race. In a year. Just kidding. In like three weeks. Are you going to do it in three weeks? Yeah, why not? Because you could hurt it again. But like, I could also die in four weeks, and then All right. in being hell, like sad, but I never... Like that's that's what your one regret is that you didn't yeah. race that one. I'm on race. my deathbed, like, damn it, I could have raced that one more. Dale race. Valley, or wherever the fuck it was. That was actually where it was. Right. See, that I know, really I yeah. know things. Yeah. All right, well, Mallory, Mallory, everybody. Don't use this footage. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mallory. Just in case no one knows, Mallory races motorcycles, and that's how she hurt herself. That's how I hurt myself. She a bad ass. All right, later, dorks. Hi, Madison. <laughs> okay. <laughs>